Hello, I'm Nige. I'm Anders. This is a cheeky extra, which no one asked for. We didn't, but we thought we should for some reason. Should we tell the, the ladies and gentlemen what we've just we've just done? Yeah, <laughs> let, let, let's tell them what we've done. We, we have over the last couple of months investigated one bottle just mind you one bottle of the world's strongest beer which comes in at what 67.5 percent yeah we did two episodes we're doing tasting thing and we've had this third of a bottle just sitting in our cupboards for yeah a long time and we just wanted rid of it yeah so we did something really reckless we just found it in one yeah i mean if you're interested you can watch it. I haven't edited it yet, but I don't think it's going to be any longer than three or four minutes. If that. <laughs> if that, yeah. <clears throat> uh, but we needed something a little bit more restrained, a little bit more well rounded. Is, we've not had a proper beer today, because that, that was a spirit. Yeah. And we, we're doing some filming before that. We did a, a non-alcoholic beer. Not proper beer, so we thought yeah. cheeky extra. We'll, we'll finish with a proper beer. Yeah, now, the beer we're doing today, Anders can introduce, but he he got me a can of that. Yeah, I got well, it from it a, a yeah a, a bottle shop in Camden, uh, half cut. Um, and what a what a lovely little shop it is, and um. What we're doing is we're doing an imperial stout. Okay. And it's voyage. And it's only 12%. In for a penny, in for a pound. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, given the fact that we've just had 67.5%, We've come down a whole 55 point something percent. Who who knows? Well, but what's worrying? This is a school night. I've got work tomorrow. <clears throat> Luckily, it's early in the evening. <laughs> it's early in the evening. We can drink lots of water. Uh, right. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my glass up. Um, I'm going to put me beer cam on. Get it in the glass. And then we'll get it in the glass and see just what it's like. I don't know anything about Voyage. I did. And and then I had a glass full of the world's strongest beer. And you've forgotten. I've forgotten everything. Oh, I'm just but looking at the... Ladies and gentlemen, if you look at beer can and see what's going on, if you're not feeling sexy, I'll tell you what, there's something wrong with you. Or perhaps there's something wrong with me. I don't know. Quite interesting. This is a little stout. It's got Chinook hops in it. Which is quite a... Yeah. Well, I've got no head on my stout. No, neither have I. Slightly concerning. Very black. Oh, wow. Oh, it smells. <laughs> that smells. Wow. Like, oh, that smells fit. Oh, the quality of that that aroma is just. Oh, that is beautiful. I was going to say it smells of. You got a little bit of alcohol coming off there, but it's not really not after having the world's strongest beer. No, it's not. No, this is far more refined, more, much more rounded. This is. I mean, the smell is of roasted malts. You know that. Um, but I'm, I'm getting cherries in there as well. Yeah, there's... A, it's a really, really rich... It is a rich and rich, deep... Really fruity rich. Yeah. Aroma. Yeah. Uh, I, I keep saying a bit Christmas cake, but it's not Christmas cake because it's, it's not. No, it, it's not. It's it's 
but it's if you imagine the richness of Christmas cake, but, but it's not, which isn't very useful. But that's what springs to mind. But I'm getting a lot of alcohol coming off this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go in. Come on, let's go. Chin chin. Cheers. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, that's not what I expected. No, me neither. That's really quite nice. Oh, the, <clears throat> there's so much going on there. Oh. Now, for a 12% beer, I've had 12, 13% stats before. <clears throat> yeah. I think I've said this before. It ended up just like, it was like drinking sweet hot chocolate. Yeah. There ain't no sweetness in this. Not really. No, absolutely not. Um, ah, this is just, they've not tried to disguise the alcohol with excessive sweetness. That's why you, you can taste the alcohol, but it's still quite low down in the mix compared with well, it really is 12 percent for goodness sake yeah absolutely and in fairness i don't think you can taste it that it's it doesn't feel that strong you've got i'm getting cherries are you getting cherries yes yeah this reminds me of a, an old old english strong ale the, the, the alcohol thing where, where, where you're yeah having, okay say, yeah. shepherd and neem Yes, IPA or something. Yeah. You, you've got that alcohol that comes through, but it's so you'd think this is about a six percent beer. Yeah, but it's a bit more than that. What's <laughs> that? Yeah. Anyway, that that that's that's where the alcohol is. But yes, cherry is it, it's that cherries in there. There's other stuff in there as well. Uh, Yeah. Oh, now, I don't like cherry flavored things. I hate the artificialness of that, but the subtlety of the cherry on that mm. is actually really, really nice. Really is good. Yeah. Because it, it's, it's so dry, the finish of this. There's almost, it's not quite there, but there's almost a Black Forest Gatto taste to this, isn't there? Yes. But the without that horrible being, sweetness at the end yes the only thing it stops it being proper black forest gatto is the sweetness because there's, there's just no sweetness in this no there isn't which is why i like it because i don't like overly sweet beers no oh this is lovely this is a, a dangerous dangerous beer yeah i'll tell you what's also dangerous what black sabbath yeah yeah i can see a little bit of black sabbath on your... there's a reason why i picked that album and i'm gonna to have to get my phone out to explain go on then do but that before i do that okay no actually i'll explain first sat in the kitchen the other day and my daughter's boyfriend who they, with us, they, they were saying Jack was playing this just quite mood music. It was uh -huh, bass, uh -huh. just also, and it just reminded me of Black Sabbath, the bass, and mm -hmm. it reminded me of Hand of Doom, it reminded me of Planet Caravan, it reminded me of lots of. And I had to photograph his phone when he showed me what he was playing. And the band is Kikagaku. Moyo, it's a Japanese band. That's the band. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. And the album is Forest of the Lost Children. Find it, play it. It is awesome. Is it really? Okay. But it reminded me, the whole album reminded me of Black Sabbath. Paranoid album. Paranoid. What? Now, this. This was Sabbath's uh, second album, I think. And 
it was meant to have a picture of a US serviceman. But with a pig's head on it. And because okay. of the Vietnam War. The record company bottled it and said at the last minute, pulled it. And so Let's they, do something shit. And they got a sort of blurred yeah. guy with his underpants on over his trousers with a plastic sword and shield. Yeah. Which is probably one of the worst album well, covers. That in fairness, I have to say there's another album. What's um you'll know what I'm talking about when Bill Ward's pants. What's the album with Bill Ward's Sabotage. Pants? Sabotage, yeah. No, no, no. This is worse. Oh, they're both bad. No, because you think the front's yeah. bad, but they managed to surpass it on the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. Yes. Oh God. Yeah. It's awful. But but this is. I mean, musically, such a... absolutely. And on the All right, I'll go through the track listing here. Go on. Side A. Both both sides got four. Side tracks. A is a great song. Yeah. War Pigs. All like eleven awesome. minutes of it. Yeah. In the eleven twelve time, which is just awesome. Is it real? Okay, we'll come back to that. Go on, go on. Yeah. Paranoid, which is the the biggest hit. Hit the hit. And Ever. again, yeah. band would say they had that hit. I mean, they're they're yeah. Heavy metal band. They got a, a song into the hit parade. Next gig, though, they had, they had all these kid teeny boppers coming up because they always opened yeah. up to that. And then they just got a little bit blown away with the rest of the set. <laughs> anyway, Paranoid. Then we have Planet Caravan. Oh. Which, if, if you don't know, it, this is not, it, it's not a quintessential heavy metal song, this. It's, no, it's not, no. It's a jazz odyssey going through the solar system type track. It's, I love it. I have thoughts uh, running through my mind. Um, the Inception, heavy metal was always kind of like, is it Helter Skelter by the Beatles? Is it I've Really Got You by the um, Kinks? Distorted guitars, yeah, and they kind of all led the way. But I think the first truly heavy metal band is Black Sabbath. Undoubtedly, they they started defining what. Yeah, but they are also hung, no, hoist by their own petard, because they do metal which has influenced every form of metal ever since so yeah. black uh black sabbath influences iron maiden which goes on to influence um metallica which goes on to influence kind of like the death metal of the... I, I, and so you got influence upon it it just yeah 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 yeah, yeah 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 and and you got this death metal stuff going on in in nordic nordic states um but they, it all comes back to black sabbath but also You've got things like Planet Caravan, which aren't heavy metal. And every Black Sabbath That's kind of what I'm trying to say is, is that... Every that, Sabbath album's got something pretty left field, which you think of it, huh? That's yeah. not heavy metal. And Planet Caravan is the track on this, this one. Anyway, the last one on side A, side A is Iron Man, which is, if you look at the kids nowadays, that's the ones... That's the track that everyone will recognise because the Iron yeah. Man, Man films and things. And uh, that's quite a stonking first first that's side. A, that's a really good start, yeah. And then you've got side B, less well known side. This the side B. You got Electric Funeral. Yes. And you got Hand of Doom. Now Hand of Doom. Based on that, that's that, that Japanese band. I was. That's what it kept on. It was a cross between Hand of Doom and Planet Caravan. That was getting the vibe. Okay, cool. All Japanese right. Band. But Hand of Doom is all about Vietnam War and heroin overdoses and things like that. And uh, awesome, absolutely awesome. Then you have, in my opinion, the, the weakest one is Rat Salad. 
which is so weak I don't remember it. Rat Salad is the drum solo track. Okay, fine. No, we're both drummers. I, but yeah, drum solos aren't necessary. Yeah. Aren't necessarily the most entertaining things. No. Live, it can be quite exciting, but on an album, no. I've heard it once. Uh, and the last track, probably my favorite. Well, no, I Hand of Doom might be the. Well, anyway, the last track on that side is Fairies Wear Boots. <laughs> I'd forgot about Ferris Wear Boots. Uh, Ferris Wear Boots. <clears throat> the band were up in the northeast somewhere, I think, doing a gig. Long hair. Anyway, they got yeah. beaten up by a bunch of skinheads after a gig one night. The walking lot and proper beaten up. Yeah. And, and actually, a lot of the photographs when they were recording this album, Tony Aomi had a the guitarist had a black eye from the fight from the beating up that they got from these skinheads and fairies wear boots is just their description of the fit of the skinheads <laughs> so they got beaten up but they've immortalized skinheads in Fair enough in in vinyl forever but i don't think this is the best black sabbath album uh personally there's others i like just as but, but this, for me, is my favourite at the moment. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, that sort of thing, it changes. You, you listen to albums and see, and do you know what? I was listening to um, Dark Side of the Moon earlier on. Yeah. Um, sometimes I listen to it and I think, yeah, it's very good. Sometimes breaks me it really does um so yeah favorite albums change as you go so yeah, yeah. I, there are better albums i think than paranoid i think sabotage is better but again I, that might change it, how I feel. it depends what mood i'm in yeah yeah that's what i'm saying but i like sabotage i like sabbath bloody sabbath which might yeah. appear here at one episode because that's okay. probably my favorite sometimes <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works yeah yeah oh then there is volume four and that's quite good <sighs> anyway how, how are you finding the beer it's just gorgeous it is isn't it yeah It is. Oh, oh, as I'm getting through this. Yeah. That alcohol haze that you had at the start. I think it's burnt off. It's not there now. And I've just got that burnt malt stout. It's yeah. God, this is a lethal pint. It is so. You see what's got what people you you have to listen to uh what's going to happen is i'm going to edit this video but because i haven't got the way with all neither's going to have to go through and take out all the fucking square words you've just made a little bit of oh i did didn't i yeah this will work for you yeah um yeah and this is the sort of thing that can cause that <laughs> Because I'm, yeah, I'm too relaxed and on camera. That shouldn't fucking happen. Nigel, a bit more That's work just to naughty. Me. Stop it, Anders. I'm sorry. Yeah. But it is. That is. Um, it's got a... Burnt caramel. Are you get it? I'm not getting that. Well, I'm, I'm getting that. I didn't get it at the start, but I'm getting it now. At the no, the me. End. Well, yeah, I'm not getting it now. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we're falling out. People, we're falling out. Um, no, that is cherry, black cherry, 
Black Forest without the sweetness. And it hasn't changed the whole way through. Well, it has for me because the alcohol's burnt off a bit and I'm not getting that that shepherd. Okay, okay. okay. Right, okay. So, okay, we're not going to fall out over this, but we, we disagree on this. Okay. No, we don't disagree because we both think it's awesome. It's great in different ways. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I think we should draw it to a close now. I think so. Quit while we're ahead and still able to talk. I'm, I'm thinking quit while we're behind. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been lovely. We've been through it today. This has been lovely. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And if you've listened to this, well, bless you. Thank you. If you've got to the end of this and you're still listening, please comment and just say, I've listened to it all. Yeah. We'll, we'll say, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, honestly, do that. Yeah. But bless you. Thank you. Good night. Like, comment subscribe it, it seems a redundant phrase to be honest with you but yeah anyway right. until the next time bye 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 <laughs>